Okay, friends, so I just did my nighttime skincare routine using some new products that I had just bought. They're not really new because I've used them before, but new because I've re-upped on things that I have desperately needed. If you guys watched my last video, this is the part two of my cleaning out my skincare drawer video. And we're just really going to go through all of the things that I got from Sephora, Ulta, and some of my Ipsy boxes that I have been delaying on going through. They're my June and July Ipsy boxes. And I still haven't gotten my August box yet, so I don't feel too behind. But... I just know if my August box came, I would have felt like, okay, Imani, what are you doing? Like, you want to create content, but you're just not. Like, I've been super, super inconsistent. So we're doing a Sephora haul, an Ulta haul, and my June and July Ipsy boxes. Okay, so I'm going to start with Sephora. I guess I'll go ahead and start with the products that... This. I'll go ahead and start with the products that I just used in my nighttime routine. The Dr. Dennis Gross Melt Away Cleanser. I've definitely talked about that in my last video. It's honestly like A1. A1 skincare product. I use it for pre-cleanse. You don't have to go back and watch the other video to really get into the pros and cons of what is and what not of each individual product. But this is just a part two. I took the stuff out because I obviously just used it. But I got the Quarterly Vino Perfect set and it comes with the Vino Perfect Essence, which is pretty much like a toner, the Vino Perfect Serum, which is my golden child dark spot corrector. And then it also comes with the Vino Perfect Instant Brightening Cream. Whenever I see the set, I definitely get the set because the serum, this is a full size serum, and the serum alone is $79. And these are miniature sizes of the essence and cream, yes, but this set is $79. The serum alone is $79. Like, it just really makes sense to get the set when you see the set. I got more of these the Dr. Dennis Rose Universal Daily Peel. Again, A1 staple in the skincare routine. I always buy them in the little miniature packs, and I really, at this point, I just need to get the full 72 treatment packet or whatever it's called. I also got this Faded Tropical Brightening and Clearing Serum. This was an impulsive buy. My friend Shy, we were in the store and she told me that the TikTok girls were raving about this. Y'all know I'm really not on TikTok like that. I'm, you know, trying to get into it a little more, but she told me the TikTok girls were raving about it, so I had to get it and see what that's about. I got this Wow Color Now Hair Serum. Apparently, this is straight hair gold. Like, if you want to straighten your hair, it's it's giving no freak. Like, apparently, you can be in 100% humidity and your hair is not gonna frizz up. So, I definitely wanted to give this a try. I got more of the Olaplex Number no. Three. I got. This Tatcha set, I'm really big on sets, especially when I'm like trying out new skincare. I first tried the Tatcha Dewy Skin Set. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. And we talked about it in another video. That's more so like a wintertime skincare product for me, just because in the summertime, my face is a lot more oily. But this one is a water-based set. So it has a pore refining Japanese wild rose and oil minimizing Japanese leopard lily, or I guess that's what it contains. And it is water-based instead of oil-based so i definitely want to try that out while it's still summertime and see if i like it to add into like my summertime routine i normally always get the dr jart collagen face mask but i decided to pick up the vitamin c face mask and we're gonna give that a try because i am a 10 out of 10 recommend fan of the collagen mask so the vitamin c i'm we, we gonna give that a try. And then, last but not least, I got YSL Le Mon Petit Holiday Parfum. I used the hell out of this in 2018, and I'm just really a YSL scent girl. Like, 
Libre, Black Opium. The Montpetit is gonna be my fall scent. And I'm going to continue to use Black Opium in the winter. And Libre just smells so good that I'ma just have to use it on occasion. Whenever I'm feeling like, ugh, it's just sitting right here and I just Every time, every time I just have to smell it because it's it's that good. That's what I got from Sephora. Let's get into our Ulta bag. So now we're gonna get into our Ulta goodies. I normally used to get my origin stuff from Sephora, but apparently they stopped selling origins in the store. And I immediately needed more of the Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience Treatment Lotion. It's a soothing treatment lotion and this another A1 dark spot correcting machine. And then I got more of the ginseng eye cream, the ultra hydrating energy boosting. Is this the oil free one? I'm gonna have to see if this is still oil free because that's what I really like the most. I'm gonna have to look this up and see if it's still oil free because I know they changed their products. Yeah, this is so different. See, this is cream. The other one was more so like a gel type of base. Um, I think I'm gonna have to return this because I really liked the other one that I had. Okay, look, so it is different. This is just like the little travel size one that I got from Sephora, you know how they just be throwing stuff in the bag? So I know I'm not bugging. The one that I like is the oil-free one. So I think I'm actually gonna have to return this. So I wanted to try Drunk Elephant. So this is also what I used when I was watching, washing my face tonight in my nighttime skincare routine. Definitely have heard a lot of great things about Drunk Elephant. So we're giving it a try. Again, I'm a set girl. So I got this Peter Thomas Raw Radiance set. So it comes with a water drenched hyalur hyaluronic glow serum and a water drenched hyaluronic cloud cream hydrating moisturizer. And then it comes with like these eye patches, which that's honestly so cool. I love me a nice little eye patch. Comes with these. Really excited to try this. So I think this is full size. The hydrating cream is full size. And then the serum, I'm, I'm almost betting that this is not full size. This is, I hope they have a bigger version of this. So those are the things that I got from Sephora and Ulta. Now I'm gonna get into my Ipsy boxes for the months of June and July. Ipsy has been stepping it up with the partnerships, I will say. They have a lot of brands that they've been partnering with and giving full size product in Ipsy boxes or that are like $25 a month for five products. And you can add on things for way less than what they are. If you wanna know more about Ipsy subscriptions and stuff, I definitely have an Ipsy subscription review that I made a video for probably last year at this point. But we're gonna get into our June and July bags. <sighs> okay, so this is... <laughs> all right, so this is all the stuff that I got in my June bag. And honestly, I threw the box away because I got it in June and it's now August and I just do not like clutter. So I went ham on the add-ons. <laughs> I think you're allowed to add up to like eight add-ons. And granted like the add-ons are like full size items for like $12, $18, like stuff like that. So I went ham on my June add-ons, I must say. So I'm going to actually start with this TV Green Tea Detox Max. Again, the skincare girls definitely know about Team Me. And this came, I don't, did this come in my, I don't know if this came in my box or if I added it on, but I definitely did not pay more than $12 for this. And this definitely retails for about $40, $50. Looking for, I'm actually looking forward to trying this because this is something that I wanted to buy. But when I saw that I could add it into my Etsy bag, I was like, 
I'm adding it, absolutely. So Kate Somerville is also another brand that is heavy in Ipsy. Like they have a bunch of Kate Somerville stuff that they just have as add-ons and stuff. So I got the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Glow Moisturizer. Let me just go back and look at this because I know the Exfoliate has to retail at some crazy price because Kate Somerville products are expensive. Okay, so the Exfoliate retails for $70 and I'm pretty sure I got it for 18. I think that that was an $18 add-on. So, right for it. I like a facial cleansing brush, which I'm really excited to try. I like using my hands, cleaning my face more than devices or tools, but I'm excited to give that a try just because of like the brushes that it has on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, there we go. Pretty excited to try that and I'm pretty sure I vibrate as well. I got this Mitchell and Peach English Leaf Body Oil. I love body oils. Don't really know what English Leaf smells like. I'm assuming that it's gonna smell very like fresh. Mm, yeah, it's giving like a fresh scent. Um, so definitely love a good body oil. I got this. Dr. Zenovia Hormonal Dermatology. Okay, Hyaluronic Acid and Peptide Serum. I'm not really too familiar with that brand, with this brand, this is what it looks like. Some of the products I don't always try just because I'm very nervous about trying new products on my face. And I have definitely had like, you know, reactions from certain products, but you can read a bunch of reviews and you can have a very similar skin type to someone else, but you just really don't know how your skin is going to react to something until you try it. So, you know, some of them, I just don't try some of them. I try, I think I might try that one. I'm gonna see. But I got this butter, not butter, butter tea tree and aloe mask scrub. I don't know if it's for the body or just for the face. Okay. It's a three-in-one facial cleanser. It treats blemishes, it detoxifies, absorbs oil, and smooths skin. Tea tree oil in it to the, remove the dirt, and natural eco beads to deep clean, exfoliate, and polish your skin. The finishing touch aloe hydrates, soothes, and nourishes your skin. So that all sounds amazing to me, and I really love aloe-based skincare products. The Best Face Forward Purifying Cleanser that I discussed in my other video has green tea and aloe vera in it. So very interested and excited to use that. I got some makeup brushes. This, I'm actually really excited for this one. This is a little set that comes with a facial oil, a hydrating mist, and I thought these were gonna be bigger, but these are so cute. Baby Frios Mini Icy Glows. I'm actually gonna open this up so we can see what they look like together. Cause this box is small. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, these are so tiny. <laughs> look how cute these are. These are so tiny. Like literally tiny. But they come with two. They're cute. If they break, that's it. That's it. What else did I get? I told y'all I really went ham. <laughs> Next in my July June, in my June bag, I got this eucalyptus like natural deodorant. It's an Ipsy Refreshments product. Oh, it smells so good. Camera won't focus. Hey, okay. No, this smells really good. Oh my God. And last but not least, I got this Anastasia Brow Gel. I really love Anastasia products for my brows. So the fact that it just comes with my Ipsy box, it's a win for me. So that is June, July. This is, again, I threw away the box. So I had to like put it in one of the things that I got from it. And I'm pretty sure this like is a hair towel like a microfiber hair towel. But I got the Saturday Skin Apple and Peach Cleanser. Oh, I got a manicure kit by Misho. So it comes with 
cuticle oil. Oh, and a top coat. This is so cute. Uh, it comes with like a cuticle oil, a top coat, and like this glass nail file. Okay. This is real cute. I'm pretty sure this was an add-on. This wasn't something that just came in my box. I definitely added that on. Oh, I got this barefoot scientist foot mask, feet mask, socks. Ooh. They're overnight moisturizing gel socks. I've been seeing this in Sephora and also a lot, the Skylar Clean Beauty like rollerballs. This one is in Vanilla Sky. It has notes of cappuccino, pure vanilla, car and caramelized cedar. Oh, I'm a nice like warm and spicy scent girl. I really like that, which is why Black Opium is probably one of my all time favorite perfumes. But Libre is giving it a run for its money. This actually smells really good. Throw that in with the fragrances. What else we got here? So then I also got from Saturday Skin this Pretty Pop Probiotic Power Whipped Cream. So apparently probiotic is supposed to be really good for your face. It's definitely going to be something that's very oil inducing. So I probably would wait until the winter time to use that. I got a purifying cleanser from Saturday Skin and I also have this cream. So I'm gonna try to use them together since they're from the same brand. I got this Shades by Shan like sparkly lip gloss. I love me a nice little sparkly lip gloss, so I'll take it. Kiss, kiss, kiss. It looks like I got liquid lip balm and scalp. So it's giving like a purplish, purplish, burgundy-ish color. Okay. Might be a nice little fall lippy. And then I got this, another lip gloss. It's giving metallic. Oh, it has like a peppermint smell. Yeah. I don't know, that might be too much. I might have to do like a brown lip liner with that one and like, you know, spice it up a little bit. I definitely got a Nabla lip gloss as well. Oh no, that's what's coming in my August bag. Okay, never mind. A bunch of lip glosses, clearly, but that's everything. All of my new products from Sephora, Ulta, and two months of Ipsy boxes. I really just wanted to do a product haul with you guys. Let me know if you've tried any of these products before, if you like them, what your take is, and I'll see you at my next video. Have a good night.